All right, we're going to create this little uh, cat here with these beautiful flowers around it. And um, we're going to use some oil pastels and some construction paper. Uh, this is a great one to use for square one art. Okay, so first you're going to start with a black piece of paper. And it might be hard to see this, but you're going to write your name on the back and your class code. Then you're going to pick a color for your cat and you're going to fold this in half because this cat's going to be symmetrical. Now I'm going to take my scissors and on the open side I'm going to cut like this and then when we open it then we have some ears. Okay, now you can have it on the side like I did here or you can put it in the middle it's up to you. Um, you're going to want to take a glue bottle and use ladybug dots all around. Okay, and then uh, you might want to cut out a lighter color to make some eyes. I made these little oval or football shaped pieces of paper. Ladybug dots. And I put them pretty high up on here. And I picked a light color to go on top of that dark purple that I've got. Okay, and I'll let that sit. And then I've also got some stripes that I'm going to put on, just thin little rectangles. put those down here at the bottom. You don't have to have stripes. You could do um, some spots. I would suggest using wheel pastels for that. All right, and then down here, notice I have a purple cat, so I can do whatever color I feel like down here. I'm gonna have the nose be this nice light blue. I just made an oval on this one. I made it triangular, but you can do it whichever way you want. And then um, I'm going to switch colors and make the mouth go all the way here. And um, I think I'm going to give him like some big eyebrows up here like I did on the other one. Okay, and then take a black or a dark blue, still kind of wet with the glue, but I'm going to go ahead and put the eyes on there. Uh, you could do whiskers. The other ones I did were black, but you could do white whiskers that come out. Alright, and I'm, I'm going to take a green and just add this green into his inside of his ears, just a triangle. We're going to add some little flowers onto this cat. And um, all we have to do is uh, take some of this uh, green paper and you want to draw on it first to make this little leaf shape. And I make a line down the middle for the veins. And then you want to cut and leave a little bit of space around the edge. That's really going to make it pop against that black paper. Okay, and um, then you can uh, glue that on here, and you could layer a little flower on top, maybe something like that. Um, to make this flower, what I did was I first cut a little square or a circle, and then I just take the corners and I cut them off, and you can kind of round those corners off and then you end up, end up having a little oval or a circle. So then I'm going to take my second color and uh, I'm going to put some glue on the back and I'm going to glue it down and then I'm going to cut around
And then it's very simple to just cut a triangle out of here. So that you get these little petals. All right, so then let's go ahead and just kind of play with the arrangement of these things a little bit. Um, I kind of like this here. Maybe have this down at the side, maybe be in the center. I'm going to put this here, keep a pretty symmetrical composition. Labo dots. So I'm going to have this hang off the edge, and then so I'm going to glue it first, and then I'm going to turn it over, and you can see where it hangs off. I can start to trim it. All right, you can also go in with the pastel. and add some details into your flowers. 